I'm the Lina, 2.9k solo memoir. I think I did okay in this game, but we still lost against 4 cores. By Golden Line ZZ. Okay, let's look at this. By the way, good morning guys, good evening, how are you? How is everyone? Let's do this. Lina, good luck, have fun. Okay. So first of all, you got Tango and the Old Talisman. This is pretty reasonable, thinking that, you know, in 2K Memoir Breakers, your supports don't really care about you. Um, but I think you should, you still should have at least asked your supports to get Tangos from, from them. So, um, commonly what people get is two Tangos pulled from your supports, no Talisman. One iron branch and one fairy fire, just like this dude. This this should be, this should be what it looks like. But um, I think you just bought tangles right away. So, but try to this is this is okay. But always ask your allies if they do. I think it's gonna change the game. I think I really think it does. So always ask for a tangle. And if you get a tangle, this is gonna be your item build. But this is really fine. So it's no big it's no big deal. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna go to Bounty. You're gonna go back. And you're gonna block block the creeps. That's good. Yeah, you're blocking good. I think you're blocking good. This is gonna be Invoker. Okay, so this is wrong. This this or this already whether you kill him or not, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go back. There's a fairy fire, right? Yep, no, it's gonna. So I'm gonna have to go back here. Because this was a really, really big moment that I have to go back. So, first of all, your skill build. You got Dragon Slave, 85 damage, 8 seconds cooldown. So, this is good. This is what all the all Lina players will do. They always get Dragon Slave because this is really good at last setting and at the same time, it does damage the hero. So, this is a really good ability at level 1. And you're right, you're right in getting this ability. But, but when you were paying attention, as you were blocking the creeps, let's say you were too focused on blocking the creeps, you were busy. Okay, let's get it. But now the lane starts. What you should have done right now is look at the minimap. If you had look at the minimap, he's now charged, and Ogre is right here. Ogre is hiding right here. He even provided you the vision. So this is the thing that you should have realized. There is no excuse for you as a mid player. If you can't watch the minimap as a mid player, you're seriously lacking a skill. Not watching a minimap cannot be an excuse. So if you want to keep playing middle, and if you do want to grind MMR by playing middle, you should learn to watch the minimap. If you had paid attention, you should know you could have known that Ogre was standing right here. This guy also has Ogre Venom. He's now also charged. So if your skill build was this instead of Dragon Slave, this guy was dead. This guy was dead 100%. There's no way for him to get out. And the reason why I stop and I'm talking this much about this one small kill is because I th I believe that this might have been the beginning of everything. The beginning of the end. This might have been the game. Why? Because if you see the if you see your lineup, this guy is a roamer. Spirit Breaker is a roamer. Ogre Magi is also a really good roamer. He can also zone out the enemy. Um, offlaner, but t this guy is overall really good, legit roamer. So you have two roamers in this game, him and him. And if you ended up killing Invoker in f as a first blood, it benefits you a huge benefit, and it also benefits your allies. Um, as a support player, if they get first blood gold, or if they just get experience at level one, that benefits them just so much that they are now able to snowball from this one kill. They are now can invade the jungle, they are much stronger than troll, they can fuck him up, they can also want to somewhere else, they're gonna be really annoying. So this was a really big kill. What good Dota 2 players will do as a mid player, if you can get this advantage, is they do first of all they do not miss they do not miss killing chance like this. They will never miss killing chance. And if they if they did kill him, if you guys did kill him, 
as Alina, you might have snowballed disadvantage. You might have leveraged from disadvantage killing first blood invoker and win the game solo. I'm not lying, but that is entirely possible in this bracket. If you do know how to play safe and how to snowball from one big or one small advantage, I don't even think this is a small, this is a really big kill. If you can snowball from this kill, this one kill, that's the game. That is why I called it that might have been the beginning of everything. So missing this killing chance was really, really big. It was really, really big. So just try to keep that in mind that everything matters. And this was a really, really big chance. And uh, you fucked it up. And also, I want to talk about that. Yeah, you did. You, you, your, this was wrong. But another thing that I want to point out is your position. Your position was really, really bad. So even though that you, 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 your skill was did not make sense. This is not the right position. You're the way too behind. When you have, when you, when you saw that this guy was charged, you should have moved your hero, a little to, to, to closer to Invoker, just to right click him a few more times. And if you actually did position better. You're not attacking from the underground, so that is bad. Um, I, I'm sure that you might have killed Invoker by just right clicking him down two more times. Yeah, he was dead. He was dead if you did right click him two times, and you didn't. So, number one reason, you are not paying attention to the minimap. You are not expecting things. Number two, your scale build was this didn't this while well, this made sense, but it didn't make sense in this particular situation. Number three, your position was just bad. You're, I think you, I, I don't think you're you're paying attention to your position at all. So this is uh, this is one of, one you, one of your weaknesses that I spot. Your position was a problem. Okay, whoa, that was close. Okay, I already talked really a lot <laughs> at level one, but I think it was worth it. I think it was worth it to talk to talk about. It was a really really big moment. Um, I guess this is your style that you get fire soul. Ooh. Okay, I don't like this skill. So seeing that there's a spirit breaker keep roaming and over match and potentially another roamer, you should you needed one more you you needed one skill point in light light strike array. Um to me this does not make sense. 201 does not make sense. So whenever he gets charged Whenever he gets charged, of course, if Invoker does respond, it's not easy for you to kill him. But this did not make sense. Skipping stun, it stuns for 1.6 seconds and also does the damage at the same time. Skipping this, while this makes sense, you're gonna have better time last setting, you're gonna have battle time harassing him down. But I would have gone 2 1 skipping the fire slow, um, or at least 1 1 1. I think that was a better skill build. Considering that you have a roamer, and considering that you can make a value out of your stun. So, I can't agree with this item, I mean, the skill build. And also talk about your item. Um, you got a mango, this is good, because, um, you know, mango is always good in emergency, and it's also good, because uh, you're gonna get, you're gonna end up getting soul ring to get the blow stun. So this is good, but brown boots, well, it's, mm, I don't know, because in this game, if I were you, I would've gotten bottle. As a mid player, Bottle is always good, but in this specific game, bottle also makes sense because you you have the map control. Your team is providing you the map control. Spirit Breaker is kept roaming, so he's pressuring you. He's pressuring every lane. He's sometimes pressuring middle, pressuring top. So he's doing that. Ogre Maja is also, like I said, potential roamer. So you have a map control. What that means is every even minute, two, four, six, eight, ten, you're gonna have to go top or bottom to collect the rooms. And if you do have bottle. You do understand the advantage of collecting the runes, right? If you get double damage, it gives you killing chance. If you get invisibility, it gives you a chance to roam. If you get haste, it also gives you killing chance. So everything, every rune that you get as Lina at early level is really, really strong. So there was no reason for you to skip bottle this game. Um, it did make sense to me. You also have a vision here. They're providing a word. That, that you can see, um, so it's not providing a vision to see whether at which spot the rune is rune is spawning. So it's mini four. You don't see any rune here. That means the rune is bottom, and I'm pretty sure that you know these things. But um, he just decided to not to get bottle, and I think that was a bad choice. Yes, you need the, the brown is always good, but bottle was better. I'm pretty sure bottle was a better item. Um, okay. 
okay, okay. Get that soul ring. What this means is basically, um, you this is your item build is now talking to me that okay, I'm Lena, I'm getting soul ring. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay in the lane, use soul ring in every cooldown, spam the dragon slave, harass invoker, push every lane, do some damage to tower, and maybe while the lane was pushed, I'm gonna farm jungle, I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna check the run, all the things. But still, bottle was so so good. Bottle was really really important. There's no reason for you to skip bottle. So people ask me a lot that, um, especially um, 2k, 3k players, they ask me when it is the right time to get bottle. Um, so at, as a mid player, I'll tell you this. Dota is just so complicated that it is not, there is no absolute answer. But in basic sense, this is the right answer. When you're playing middle and when you are wondering whether you think you should get bottle or not and you're not sure. Just look at, first of all, look at the lineup of your allies. Is your allies providing a strong enough in roaming to provide a map control? Do you think every minute, every every even minute, there's a rune? And if your allies do engage in conflicts with your enemies, do you think um, your allies are strong enough to win? If you if the answer is yes, then you should get bottle because there should be no there should be no the problem in fighting with them only. And controlling rune controlling rune is just so important. This is really really important. So that is the one thing that you can keep in mind. And another thing is it's the same thing, but you do opposite. If you think the enemy team is way too strong in terms of roaming, and you think by just roaming top or bottom run to collect the runes, you are in danger of getting killed, then you should not go bottle. Then this item build makes sense. Then you're you getting brown boots and soul ring. This makes sense. You can even play more defensive by by getting a raindrop to make their roamers harder to gank you because raindrops makes you really really tanky at early level so that's the basic i think that's the basically what you should do um and you should give some answers to most people wondering when to get bottle okay Come to fast forward mode so you're trying to last sit um your last setting is fine but as a Lina, I do not recommend holding the lane like this. Um, I don't think. Okay, you should definitely hit him a little more. This is time where you should check his item, and he only has one tangle. Well, he does have range up, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you're Lina. Keep dragon slaving him. Yeah, that's good. And I, if I were you, I would have just pushed every lane, unless Spirit Breaker was talking to you to hold the lane to gank. Yeah, this is good. This, that is really really good. Because every time you do that, you can right click right click the tower. Okay, this was a fantastic ulti. I actually, I don't want to go back, but I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. You using Laguna Blade like that, that tells me that, tells me that you are a good player. Because many, I, I promise you, many 2k players that I've been coaching, they have tendency to save their Laguna Blade or every ultimate, whatever heroes they're playing. They just have tendency to not to use their ulti. What they do is rather they just save up until the very end and miss the killing chance because they want to last it with the skill. But you, what you just did by just using Laguna Blade like that, you not only surprise Invoker, but you just secure the kill. So the way you use your skill, this tells me that you are a good player. So that was a really impressive right there. Um, I'm sure that some people will find it nothing, but to me that was a lot. That was really impressive. Okay, no reason for you to go up there. You can't. Don't think you can kill Omni. No, 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 no. You're dead now. Okay. So, regardless of where you get him or not, this is still a really bad choice. So I'm gonna have to go back. Um. So when you got cold snap, so now you got cold snap for Invoker. There was no reason for you to walk this way to the left. So I think you were. Just, I think it was just here in, in your instinct that since you see a tree here and you know that you can move between the tree, there's a line, there's a there's a there's a little path. I think that is why you decided to do this. You were a little panicking, but if you stay cut, if you had calmed, there was no reason for you to walk this way. Um, cold snap, very dangerous. But if you had actually just walked back here, so let's say Omni was standing over here, or Omni was standing like somewhere over here. Then it makes sense for you to go to the left, but in this right now, by just going in here, you're actually more jeopardizing your position. 
by, by doing this. There was no reason for you to run away and juke into the tree. If you had just run back, just toward your tower, you might have lived. It's that simple. Because his sun strike is not strong enough. Invoker has sun strike, yes, that is really, really dangerous. But his sun strike is not enough to kill you, even if it gets it. You have you you might have ended up getting like 400 HP. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep looking. Be juked. And even right now, you decided to go to uphill, but I think it was better for you to go this way. Yeah, I think that was much better. Um, if you just went this way, by the time you were you arrived here, Spirit Breaker might have Spirit Breaker might have close to arrived. And you could have just walked this way. If you if you found it hard, if you, I think if you were worried about position of Omni Knight, because he can slow down people when he gets close. But if you actually did run run this way, um, that was a better choice. There was no reason for you to go up this high. Um, so now you're trying to make a space. I don't know what you're doing, but you're dead now, right? You're dead. And at this point, you should realize that it is not it is not possible to kill Omni. The best thing you can do right now is to set to the agent. I think that's what I should have done. But um, I think you're panicking. That is why you're not paying attention to your position. But again, like I spotted earlier, I think you do have <coughs> your 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 weakness is your problem. It's your position. I don't think your position is good in team fights and leaning. Um, the way you escape from the gank, um, you should pay attention to your position much more. Lady Lion's back. Oh, okay. So that's another position mistake. Um, well. If you if you, so every time you see Spirit Breaker roaming, let's see this fight first. Good. Very very good. Well, ooh okay. <laughs> okay, that was unfortunate. I just hope that um, Spirit Breaker carried one does, but there's not that many that does that. But like I said, when Spirit Breaker was ganking middle, it should have been you. Rushing toward him, not Spirit Breaker. If you actually did run toward Invoker before Spirit Breaker had arrived, Invoker had no time to close snap him to, to stop the charge. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you had got close enough to Invoker, Invoker now has two choices. He can either close snap. Wait. Okay, I'm gonna skip the fight that just happens. But this, this, this is really, really, really bad. So I'm just I'm, I'm just gonna have to go back. I was talking about the spread breaker earlier charging, but that's bad. Let's say that that was just unfortunate. But you doing this right now, you were you used up all your mana, all of your mana. You're now staying at 100 mana. Let's look at this. Um, you're pushing. You wasted a lot of your mana in pushing. That that's good because um, you even have a catapult. You're doing a lot of, a lot of damage to the tower. So pushing like that is really really fine. But if you had paid attention to yourself, you now have 100 mana. Your soul ring is on cooldown. You don't even have arcane boots. You have no magic wand. You have no source of getting mana. And you still, yet, because you were blinded by this skill, since now your allies are providing you the vision, you decided to, deep, to just invade to the jungle. This is really bad. This is another your pushing mistake. Um, let's say, because you just sent back to Invoker. Before, prior to this fight, you guys were chasing down Omni, you killed Omni, and you sent back to Invoker. Invoker had to use the Ghost Walk, Ghost Walk. he went back to base. You put down a but you did not end up killing him. But here's what you should expect things when you're playing middle. You should have realized that by the time you pushed up this far, you should have predicted that Invoker actually healed up, because now he's in the fountain, he healed up, and he's now tipping back. And this is actually really basic for you to predict. It's really easy. Um, but I guess you are not capable of doing that. But I hope you learn this kind of tactic after this watching my coaching, because it's really important. If you you should have known that, and if you had known that, the right play for you to do was just go back to here. I know that troll is in danger, but you should have communicate with your allies that you don't have mana and you can't kill him. You cannot contribute in killing him. Uh, so 
The right play for you was go back to the shrine and come back and keep pressuring the tower. Taking down objective is actually much more valuable than killing troll. So by blindly just walking in, you now have invoker full HP, but you have no mana. All you can do is just right clicking, right clicking the enemy. And that's that doesn't make sense, right? Lina just right click with no mana. It's nothing. It's no it's not it's not a threat. So you just died here. And this was a big problem. This was a really really big problem. And if you're keep playing like this and you are planning to play middle, um you cannot carry game you cannot carry any game solo. I, I have to say this because this is really important. Every time your supports are providing a chance for you to win the game, like they were ganking, but you missed it. you missed the chances to kill 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 their kill the enemy mid player. So you definitely had a chances to snowball, but you didn't get it. But let's say even if you did get it, but if you keep playing like this, you're throwing away the advantage. You're throwing away the advantage that was just provided by dying like that. So you should never do that. Okay. So it's that that is that is that was a really big kill. Um, the first thing that I mentioned in this game was you missing missing the first blood at the landing stage at the at the way beginning. That was big. But you dying here right now. Fading to troll and fading to everyone else. That was also big. That was also also really big. That might have changed the game. So keep in mind um, those things that I'm pointing out. So since you're Lena, since you're godlike in pushing the lane, clearing or clearing the waves, you got the tower. Um, and this is where Lena becomes OP. Lena is just so 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 good at pushing. And she's gonna die now. Ooh, no miss, no miss, no miss. Good, good, good. Now get the hell out. Okay, good job. Our perspective. 74. That's good. Yep. I, I don't I don't have any beef with your farming ability, but it can definitely improve. You can work on you can work on your last setting because I have seen you missing one or two last set. That should not have happened. But this is okay. Your farming is okay. Just keep paying attention and during the lane phase when you have to last it with your right click. Because I know that it is hard to right click, but you know. But you can get them if you pay attention. But this is fine. Alright. Okay. Now you're gonna farm jungle. So this is good. You're pushing lane. And you're going back to the jungle to farm. I think this is good. You want to push top. I think they have a ward. Yeah. Windranger get back. And that's a sign that they have a ward, side ward. And bio TP the side shop. You got the soul booster. It's not right for you to stay here. So your allies are pushing and now you're farming jungle. Let's see your position. This is another your position mistake. Your allies now have already dived this far. And I do not even expect you to be here. This is them being a little crazy. So there's there is no duty for you as a mid player who should be playing safe to engage in this fight. But you came all the way up here to engage in teamfight to do something. The right play to do was you, you staying right here and right clicking the tower a few times. You're Lina, you have the attack speed and if you did right click, you get the tower. And that by doing that, you're helping your, helping your team. If you don't want to do that, this farming was wrong. You should have TP to middle to farm this. So this is another thing that I want to point out. Your position is bad. Now your allies are doing this, doing that. But and you're now going diving in, taking damage to tower. This is a little sloppy, right? Now you're, you just have taken damage from Wind Ranger, Power Shot. You just took a lot of damage. Good job getting Bloodstone at mini 15. This is really, really impressive. You, know, you definitely have the ability to farm, but your position is just really, really bad. You can definitely work on that. Tipping to middle was, I believe, it was kind of late. And tipping to like this is also dangerous. Now Trolls gonna engage in because your position is again, your decision to TP to mid like this, it was also bad. Good. So, very very good. So this is good. It's like like I'm saying right. Oh no. Closer. Like I just like you just saw yourself, you have 
ability to play good as a Dota 2 player. Like you do know how to juke, you do know little tricks, you do know how to use your hero, you do know which 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 spell to cast at the right time. So that's good. But again, there was no reason for you to TP like that when troll was this scroll this close. TP back here, then it becomes much harder for troll to even engage into you. So if troll ever got lucky and did stun you, you were dead. And imagine you died right away after getting bloodstone. That's horrible, right? You understand that that is really, really bad. So if you had actually died right there, I might have called it GG. <laughs> that, that was really, really, really bad. That put your team back, that let your team down, that let yourself down. That was a really, really, really bad mistake. So you should be really careful. Okay. Now oh, you're farming bottom. Good. Dragon Slave. Wow. Good. I think Lina is kind of. That is really strong. Ooh. Okay. So that is really good job of doing casting. We just refreshed the cooldown of our soul, so that's really good. 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 This is good. Doing a lot of damage to the tower. So this is why everyone plays Lina these days, guys. Lina is a she's doing this without having a cooler or without having Bastilla's ring. Bring up Bastilla's. Um that's really powerful. So you just have taken down the two towers. You have taken down the middle tower. You also have taken down the bottom tower by solo. So you your ability to take down your decision to go for the objective, the tier one first tower, that tells me that you are also a good player. So that was impressive. We're getting close to point dagger. And now is the time to farm the jungle. This is really good. You're now utilizing the resources in the minimap. Every every everywhere in the everywhere in the map. There is nowhere to push. You just push the bottom, you also push middle. So it is the right time to farm. And if I had to advise you, I might have stacked this. Because it was when you arrived here, it was 1755. I might have stacked the camp. That's also a small thing that I could point out. Um, okay. Just dragon nuke him. Good. Don't let him close. Good. You're doing good. He can't come near you. If he does, you're gonna stun him instead. Good. Now you have to go back because Troll is going around. Well, so once you get Blink Digger, everything looks really, really, really beautiful for you as Lina Middle. Because it's, it's 18 minutes. It's only 18. Okay. Dragon Slave! Good job. It's only minute 18, and now look at your item. You have Bloodstone, you have no, no Talisman, you have Boots, and you have Blink Digger. This all happened under 19 minutes. So, and your level 16. Your level looks good, your item looks good. The only downside is um, them getting the middle tower because you didn't you did not defend the middle when you should have. So losing that tower was kind of bad. But your look at your item. This is really good. This is where your 14 charges. This is where Lina becomes really scary because Invoker has nothing. Invoker has nothing, and you have everything. Compared to Invoker, you have you got everything. So it's really really scary, you know. So you, you you've been playing really good until 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 so far. It's really good. Um check Roshan. Good, good, good. Okay. You're going in. It's gonna be a big fight. Let's see how you do this time. Oh, who you them? Well, that's unfortunate, it's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Now you have to come back and fight them. Good. Ah, oh, you should not have missed your stun like that. That was a really bad stun that you missed. Regeneration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Regen. Let's take it. Ooh. Okay. So I have to go back. You're gonna die now. You're dead. Um. So first of all, you walking here was good. Building was unfortunate, but that's fine. I think one of your allies messed up, and you messed up, so that's fine. That's understandable. But here, you casting stun like right here when Troll ran away. So this tells me that, okay, it could happen, but I, I, 
this is just what I can tell. You're a little panicking in teamfight. You're not focusing enough. This type of thing happens whenever you panic in teamfights. Whenever you get nervous, whenever you get panic, or you're not paying attention, this happens. But this is a mistake. It's just a horrible stun that should never be placed. So you should pay attention during the teamfight. That was one bad stun. That was a really, really one bad stun that you missed. And right here, you're not casting stun right here, right? But if you had actually found a way to calm yourself down, look what you have. Look at look at what your options are right now. You don't have ulti, but you have blink dagger. This is not on cooldown right now. So blink dagger, you got blink dagger to get close to the enemy to cast better stun, right? That is why you got the blink dagger. That is why people get blink dagger to cast better, to cast your stun in better range, to hit them at ninety percent chances. It becomes significantly easier if you get blink dagger, right, to stun them. But you did not use your blink dagger. Turtle was right here, and this range is just about enough. Even though he was using his face to run away, you have blink dagger. If you just blink up here, he can't run away. This guy was dead. Highly likely, Turtle was dead. But instead, you didn't blink in. You missed your stun again, and then you blinked in. So this, this was a really, really bad blink in. Um, really, really bad positioning. Also, positioning was really bad because now you're standing really close to the Asian creeps, that you are taking damage from the creeps, so this position is really bad. The right position to blink in was right here. A little behind troll, a little front to the spirit breaker. Then you might have pushed him perfectly, but this was a really bad position. Now troll is gonna hit you. Troll is now gonna find a target and he's gonna hit you a few times and peel coming back, he finished you up. So you deserve to die and you missed your stun and you position yourself really poorly. Really poor. That's why you die. That's why you, you're losing this big team fight. Mapping to crawl to I mean, I'm not sure. Because you're back with your bloodstone, but you didn't suicide. Um out of suicide. Because you had 14 charges, right? Out of suicide. I think you just gave up a lot of gold. So that's the, also the, one of the things that you can keep in mind. Oh my okay, so mu you missed your stun again. Um This should not happen if you want to go up higher. You should find a way to land your stun. If you keep missing, so those are the things that what players mentioned that it should not happen. So there's no excuse for you to miss to miss your stun like that. If you keep missing that, this is where you are and you will stay here forever. You should find a way to land your stun better. Um, maybe you were lagging, I don't know your excuses, but you should just focus much more into the game when you're playing. And how do people get better? Um, just keep practicing, keep watching your replay, keep reminding yourself of the mistakes that you just you just committed and do not repeat them. That is how people get better. So making a mistake like this is okay. It's gonna it's gonna make you a better player next game if you do analyze it yourself. But in this game, by just committing all these mistakes, you've been making so many mistakes that it, it is now starting to affect the game. Um you're missing way too many killing chances than you should be. You shouldn't go there, you should let him die. Ooh, okay, good job, good. And please do not find me a jerk, because I'm talking and pointing out a mistake. That is, I think it is my job as a coach to to point out your mistakes. So, I, I, I saw somebody getting offended by me talking to some, you know, you're bad, you're, you're not good, but um, please don't be. I have no, I have no means to be offending anyone by doing this, I'm just trying to help you. So I hope that, just let me know if, I, if I'm if i being too cruel, if you find this video really offending you, just let me know, because um, I really don't want to make anyone angry. BOT is good, uh, BOT is good, this is always good. So at it's, it's minute 22, even though you did make a mistakes, a few mistakes, like missing killing chances, um, doing things that you shouldn't be, but just judging by your item you have your your farming is just legit this is good this is really good there are so many other players even when they play middle they just can't farm this much item around minute 22 so this is impressive your strength is your ability to farm as they um so you should be proud of yourself in doing this this is really good um now you can roam with with, with this bot now you can roam. Okay, 
So I think, okay, so this was another big play. I think you are waiting for them to charge. So you could have keep it to bottom tower earlier, but you are waiting for the spirit breaker to charge him just to make sure that you kill him. So that was good. I was wondering why you didn't TP. I was I was gonna say your PL is doing a little too much damage to the tower, you should TP right away. But I think you were trying to bait him. So you were communicating with your spirit breaker to charge him to get the kill. So you're good. You're really, really good. Um, you should keep pushing, seeing that everything is going on here. You're, if you look at the minimap, something action is happening. Uh, but you should at least check what's going on by switching your screen. If you see in the minimap something's going on, you should, and you even have TP cooldown. So you can now TP to somewhere. Um, so if I were you, while I was doing this, what else is there to do when you're pushing and nobody's here and when you see that everybody is fighting here? This is what you should have done while you're pushing. Click on the minimap, check this guy, check this guy, check this guy, and just bring it to your head. Okay, so he this guy used ulti, now he's running back. His his repel is in cooldown, and it's just things like that. Just keep reminding yourself what you should do. That gives you a better 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 chance of you making a better decision. But right now what you're doing is just pushing and you're not even looking at them. Now you just look back and you just have to just TP here. And let's let's see what you do. You should have used the shrine. You should have used the shrine. This is too late, you don't have to get back. They can kill you regardless. So that was a bad TP. Well, I'm gonna say this was not a bad TP, but you act you, you did not respond faster after TPing after TPing here. You are not making the best decision because you are not ready. Because when you are pushing to when you are pushing bottom tower, you are not preparing yourself for this battle. If you had actually pay attention um, and see what was going on, I guarantee that you might have made a better decision either to, to, to TP here or TP to here to help your allies. That gives you a better chance of making a better decision, but you didn't. You were just pushing and you didn't you didn't even bother to check. So that is why now you're struggling. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. You're not expecting things. So you don't know what to do, you're struggling, and you're like, oh I should click this, but it's too late now, they're gonna kill you regardless. So and now you go you come back. This is bad. This is really bad. So we have to go back. So remember that whenever Pushing the bottom tower and doing damage was really good. You did a lot of damage, but whenever you're doing that, um, try to pay attention to the minimap and see what's going on. I think this is your another weakness. You're not paying attention to the minimap enough as a player. So that is the thing that you can also move on. Okay. Okay. You can blink in. Blink, blink, stun. Good. Very, 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 very good. He's gonna die now. Okay, good job on that. So you, yeah, that was the right way of using your blink dagger. That's Lena. Good job. Good. Go back. Go back. Go back. Mm. Okay. Good job. You should have go back all year. Cause if you had to stay. Three seconds longer, I think your enemies have might have killed you. That is why you blink take her back. It's a good job. Oh. Ooh. Okay, you just said it. Alright, so You saw him getting charged here, right? You saw him getting charged. And right here, your blink dagger has if you look at the range, this is just enough range for you to cast Blink Dagger. You got close to him and last on straight, but seeing that this guy has invisibility, Phoenix has invisibility. So I think you are waiting for the Spirit Breaker. But here, you blinked him forward. This is your mistake. You didn't bother to click Phantom Lancer. If I were you, what I've done is click Phantom Lancer first before engaging in before blinking from here, when you were standing here, when PL was here, I would have clicked Phantom Lancer and check his item. He has Manta, he has Radiance, he has Power Dress, and he, he you also have, you also should have checked his, cell, checked his level to see how strong he is. But you didn't do that, you just blinked in. So it's easy, it's actually not even that hard for PL to dodge your stun. He has Manta, 
he has doppelganger is, is that what it's called doppelganger yeah so you're jeopardizing yourself again your position is really bad you should never blinking like this you should not be the one to initiate phoenix was providing a vision to your allies to give him an initiation or give you an initiation but you should have decided better not to initiate like this um this was a really bad initiation it's gonna dodge your stun that's what happened right so he dodged your stun it was not even a dodge but again this was a uh, the position was bad uh, it was okay this was a good try but he dodged your stun this was easy dodge and you're gonna die you just decided yourself you have to so all this is happening because you're not paying attention to your position so i hope that by watching this replay by watching my analysis analysis you should i hope that you realize that you should work on you can work on your position to become a better player you just you just should have waited for the script breaker that's all you had to do you just had to wait for the script breaker to initiate it was not you who should have been the, who should have been the who should have been at the vanguard to kill the enemy so play with some patience you're gonna be Ooh! <laughs> You'll, get, you'll become a better player if you have some patience. Okay. And now they are killing something. You're back. Blink Thacker. Blink Thacker. No. You can't. So you decided not. To, there is no reason to skip the bounty room. The bounty room is here. So. Okay, I don't think you can blink in. Maybe you try no more. Okay, I fall. You have to get back now, cause Wind Ranger is middle. Yeah, you have to get back. Ooh, using your blink tackle like that is never good. Uh, no, 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 no. Where's Wind Ranger? Okay, he's. Shit. Okay. You're gonna die now. And you can't even suicide. Okay, so this was bad. Again, that was really bad. Killing troll was good, but it was fucking jungle troll, and you were the mid laner of your allies. So that was not a good trade. That was bad overall. Um, you should have just played safe. Yeah, there was no reason for you to go out crazy like that. So that was a bad move. You're back. You're getting Shiva scored. Whom? Shiva scored. Okay. Um. Found him. Charge, charge, charge. Okay. Doppelganger, charged. You know the real one. You should stun him. You miss your stun again. Yeah, you miss your stun again. So, those things are things that you can definitely improve on. The way you cast your um, spell, this is, accuracy is really bad, so, and that can be fixed by just paying attention. You're making things a lot harder. Yes, you did kill him, but if you keep doing that, it's gonna be messy. It's gonna affect your games. Okay, let's see. You missed your stun again. You stun nobody. Mr. Stun again. Um, ulti, ulti. Okay, good. He's dead. Good. Yeah. Um. So I, w I was gonna talk about your Shiva scored. So while Shiva scored is great. Overall, Shiva Scored is just a fantastic item as a for hero like Lina. But I believe there was a better item that you should prioritize over. Wow, this no 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 no. You blinking like this was bad. Wow. Okay, this was really 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 bad. Okay. So the moment you blinked in, you were. 
too far up, up to this point that still is good but I think you were you really wanted to buy your plate mail or music stuff that you had to blink in but this was a really really bad move this was a really really bad move that um, anyone well okay okay I just want to point out that you should never do this again never ever you're basically entering into the enemy enemy zone this is not your territory you don't even have a ward here so the moment you blinked in you were dead and this again is the thing that you might consider you know it was just one mistake but no this is big this was a huge moment this was really really big this was so, so big um, good job you got Shiva's guard um, I think you purchased your item before you died so that was good but um, first of all you should not have gone there it was basically feeding you were feeding to invoker that was really really bad um, and your Shiva's guard I don't think this was needed I don't think Shiva's guard was the item that you should you should have prioritized on getting in this game because you're playing against invoker you're playing against invoker and here's the basic mindset I'm gonna tell this to everyone watching this video whenever you're playing any hero and let's say you're playing course let's say you're playing any course middle safe lane and if they have invoker get black king bar get bkb as your second or third core items if you're getting bkb after minute 55 50 that is bad that is not the way you guys play versus invoker you're basically asking for invoker to kill you all invoker is a guy that gets countered by bkb very hard he can't do anything everything is magical damage everything is magical damage um um and let's see what you can do um let's see what you can do with your shiva scored but i'm telling you now that while this is just always good item um bkb was better bkb was the item that you should have gotten instead of this and you even have phoenix i bet phoenix is also getting shiva scored yeah so this dude is also getting the shiva scored so your, your shiva scored was also redundant before getting this item you should have checked your allies um but let's see let's see if you can make some value out of this okay that's the real one let's see what happens stunned him this time really good you should have logged on the blade all year. You should have logged on the blade all year. It's not surviving. It's gonna die eventually, I think. Good job. Right. Okay, let's look at the damage you're taking from Invoker. This is how much. This is the damage you took from Invoker. You took 1200 damage from Invoker by just Invoker. The Yuling him Cyclone and Meteor Strike and definitely Blast did he. But this is how much you, you, you took your damage. Um. And do you think Shiva's card created any difference in the fight? This is really expensive. Shiva's card is really, really expensive. It didn't prevent him. It didn't prevent troll from. It didn't prevent troll from killing you. And now you're dead. But imagine this. Imagine this. So you're gonna lose the bottom tower now. Okay. So you lost the bottom tower. It's gonna go off. But he guys lost this fight. So I'm gonna come back in soon. But imagine that. That you had a BKB. Imagine Lina had a BKB. Um, so now Cyclone, Deathing Blast, you miss but you're still taking a lot of damage. If you had BKB, if you had BKB, I bet you took no damage. You took no but no damage at all. You only you only could have taken Invoker Cyclone. But other than that, you should you should, you, you, you took no damage if you had BKB. What that means is you probably might have win the fight. If you had BKB, they, ca they, they can't kill you. There is no way that they can kill you. And you might have won this fight. Not that sloppy. And you might have also TP to bottom and defended the tower from the Wind Ranger. That's what BKB might have done. But Shiva's guard didn't do much. I don't think I don't think it did really anything. So this is why I always ask people to get BKB against Invoker. BKB is just so good that there is no reason to skip. But every time I coach people, if it's 2k MMR, 3k MMR, um, I have seen no one, no one at all getting BKB at the right time. Zero people. I've been coaching like a lot of people since, because um, I've been doing this for quite a time. But I have seen nobody, nobody getting BKB at 2k MMR bracket when they should get BKB. So. If you take my advice, um, 
you, you will become a much better player. Because now that you will know when to get BKB and when to not get BKB. And by just getting BKB and using it at the right time is a different story. But if you do use it at the right time, it will make your game significantly easier and significantly harder for the enemy team. They will be like, oh, what the fuck, this guy got BKB? This doesn't happen in my bracket. I'm, I guarantee, that's, that's what's gonna happen. In 2 KMMR, people don't get BKB. And if you, if you are the only person who's getting BKB, you will keep winning games. You will keep winning games. So, try that. Try getting BKB and let me know if you have found any difference. But using it, using activating the BKB at the right time is a different story. I've seen plenty of people getting BKB and they don't use BKB. So that could be a problem, but it's better than not getting BKB. So, always get BKB if you do want to win games against Invoker. Yeah, BKB. And the uh, your next item is Maelstrom. Okay, so I'm gonna say this. At this moment, unless you change your mind, this game is lost. Um, you can't you can't play this game without getting heavy BKB. Um, even medicine, this guy should have been BKB. Okay, good job killing him. I'm I'm good, good, but. I'm gonna predict that you guys will eventually lose this game because you're not getting BKB. If you get Mouse Room, oh, that's that's the game. You can't win this game anymore. Uh, good. Your team does not have to fight. So good job killing them. Good job. Yeah, really, really good. But it's gonna die now. And you cannot, you guys cannot find the real one. So you guys are getting back. That is backdooring. You can even reinitiate on you because you're Lina and you don't have anything. Troll can be here. He's here. And if he got lucky and did stun you, you might have died. So that was also really dangerous for you to stand right there. And you should have blinked in. Um, just like being really picky. But right now, when you activated your Shiva card, you should have blinked in. Right now, you should have blinked in toward him and slowed him down. Then Troll was dead. So, does all these small things matter? I don't think you saw him dying here by casting Shiva's card. So, ca pressing Shiva's card prior to Blink Dagger was the right thing. That's what players do. But you should have blinked in toward him. Anywhere, if you just slow him down, this guy was dead. But um, you didn't. So, that was unfortunate. He's still gonna die, right? But you're just making things harder because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. If he gets charged, he's still dead. He's likely to be done. Uh, yes, she uh, silver edge. Now you guys can't kill him. Oh, he has dust. Guys, he has dust. Oh my god. This is what troll does, right? But blade nail, okay. But you get my point, right? You were just making things much harder for them. For your allies to kill him. When he was dead. Um Because you didn't you didn't you did not fully utilize utilize utilizes utilizes your item slot. Items that you got, you didn't use them. So that's another thing that I want to point out. I think you were you were getting the Maelstrom just to have Bane a better, just to have better ability to push the lane because you know this is good in pushing lane. But really, this is kind of redundant. This is not really. Yes, it's, it makes you stronger. Um, it's good. It's just good. But um, you can't win team fights without BKB. That is just my prediction and. I'm pretty confident to say that call up the game right here. You're going for the we all nil, not BKB. And you can't win this game. Let's see. Let's just see. Oh, until the end. I'm gonna see it. But this was a really bad decision for you. Getting this item. And if. This is why mid player is just so important. Every time. If you're playing middle, every decision you make heavily, heavily heavily influences the game. Um, so people are right in calling that supports don't matter in, in, in top games. I do not fully agree with them, but they are right. So all they are saying, their intention of saying it is that supports have the lowest impact in the game. And mid and the carry players, uh, most of the time, they are the game decider in top games. And they are right, I agree with them. So this is why I always argue that 90% of the time every game is solo carryable if you're playing middle and safely and if given that you're you're doing things right. So these things matter. You're gonna lose the game because you don't have BKP. I don't see you winning team fight without BKP. It's gonna be everyone 
everyone is capable of killing you. If you can think that. Troll can kill you solo. Good job killing him now. Good job. But things are happening top. Things are happening top. And Medusa is doing injuries. Okay. Good. Good. But see, you can't do anything. You have to now get back. You have to play defensive because you don't have BKB. Medusa is dead now. And yes, your Valsorum is doing great in killing off the PL solution, but that really isn't the problem. That really is not the problem. Um, yeah, good job. He's gonna die. Good. Uh, eventually, you're gonna lose, I think. Uh, even now, things can be fixed if you decided to sell the No Talisman. You have 5, 5k gold. Even now, if you had got BKB, things might have been different. Even now. Good. Good job killing him. Good job. Yeah, but why didn't you get BKB? So this item still makes sense. Um, thinking that you got this item to clear off the PL solution. In that sense, this item makes sense to me. But even now, um, you should not have gotten Yolnio this this time. Yeah, BKB. You need BKB definitely. BKB. I don't think you ever consider getting BKB in this game, and that is why that is what's causing you 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 to. Causing this game really, really difficult. Yes. You're pushing in. Have you ever considered getting BKB this game? I think you are now saving for the buyback. That's all. So BKB is not your is out of your consideration. Dipping back. Okay. Save him. Oh. Windron, that fucking Windron. Okay, now Invoker time. Well, he missed. That is, this Invoker is so bad that he missed. But um, still, you're taking a lot of damage from Invoker. And Invoker is the biggest threat in this game. Now we're gonna suicide. Okay. Yeah, I think the game is over here. We pop back. That means if you die again, the game is really over. PL is here, let's see what you can do with your Mjolnir. You, you bought this item to clear, clear off his illusions, I think. But let's see if it really does anything and if it actually does have high impact. You blinked in, but you have to get back again, because if they initiate on you, you're gonna die. If PL wants to kill you, you're gonna die. If Troll wants to kill you, you're gonna die. If Invoke wants to kill you, you're gonna die. If Wind Ranger ever shackles you, you're gonna die. That is why you need BKB to prevent all these things from happening. That is why you need BKB. So every time you're playing carry, just consider getting BKB as your core item. You need BKB almost every game, and people never fucking get BKB. You're gonna die now. And let's see. Da 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 da. Just sap it, that happened. But 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 you're gonna get killed and you're dead. And you decided to get BOT level two. Probably you just got this item, whatever. But um, still. You lost this game due to your itemization, and you are struggling in middle because you missed a few killing chances that you you could have gotten. But you missed your stun, your position was bad, you fed off a little too, uh, one or two times. Eighteen nine seven is good score wise. This is I would say in general you're performing above average, but things can be much better. Like I pointed out in every step of the game, in every stage of the game, I hope you learn from those. So, get BKB. That's all I want you to do. Your last set is fine, 350, that is good. You're farming. Your farming is actually one of your strengths. You're, you are a good farmer. That's what makes you a legit mid, mid laner. So, that's good. GPM, 600 GPM, that's also impressive, even when you're losing. And that's all. Yeah, I think that is all. Okay. I think that game was fun, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And that was it for coaching 2k lina thank you for watching guys just get pkb bye